Okay, so I'm going to start here in the living area and then I'll head out into the corridor and give you guys a proper talk through. Um, but, you know, you'll have seen from the light pan what the living slash dining slash kitchen slash office area looks like. I had to make this space very multifunctional just because it's quite small and the number of um, things that I do in here, I just wanted to make the transitions clear between all the different spaces. Um, the layout of the place already makes that quite easy to do. But um, yeah, I will talk through how I use like the decorative items to set the scene in that way. Uh, just, just standard stuff like a glass dicing board, which I think I got from... I don't remember where I got that from. Um, maybe like TK Maxx or something like that. Um, these faux orchids I got from Amazon. Um, the cinnamon and honey apple is from Bath and Body Works, and my mum got it for me when she was in the States. Um, salt and pepper shaker, you know, all the good stuff. Wine rack probably got from the range, along with this um, cup holder. The cups are oh. <laughs> The cups are from Wilco, thank you for the bottom to tell me that. Um, the toaster was inherited from the owners of the first place that I bought. And the kettle to match the cups, um, so my first theme when I first moved out of home was purple, so kind of sticking with that. Um, but this is from, oh, where is this from? Where did I buy it? Might have been like also TK Maxx or something like that, um, don't know. These glasses were a gift, um, the bowls are from, I think they're from Asda, um, this dish rack is from a pound shop, um, yeah, sink area, standard stuff. Um, uh, yeah, every, most of this stuff is probably from Wilco, I'll be honest, um, because they have a really good range of stuff. Um, this Cookworks blender is from Argos. And the coffee, tea, and sugar mugs are from TK Maxx. Um, the knife rack is from Viners. Um, all of the knives are Viners, but these two I got from HomeSense, and the rest are from Viners itself. I think I went to the outlet more in Ashford. Um, Ashford Designer Village, I think it's called, and got it from there. And then this Brita filter is from, I got it from Amazon online. Um, I guess we can have a quick look in here because this is where all my cutlery is. That cup is from a YouTube event that I did. That's the matching mug, um, wine glass that came in a gift set. I don't know where they're from. <laughs> Let me see if there's a brand name anywhere. No, there isn't, sorry. <laughs> um, that mug is from New Look. That was a gift. That was probably from TK Maxx. Plates and everything are probably Wilco or something like that. Um, but yeah, what else, what do we have on here? Just like cleaning products and stuff in there. Um, all my plastic bags, because you have to keep those, otherwise they're charging for them. Those two lamps came with the property, and I don't really like them, so I kept them in here. Um, got my hand wash from Aldi, which is freezer and pear and pomegranate, which I got a little, not too long ago. Um, and then some like cleaning products, a flash bar from spray and shaken and vac. And some wipes and all of this other antibacterial stuff. Uh, cutlery and shears and veneers in there. Um, what have we got up here? We have a very bare cupboard, but this is where I keep my oats. And this is where I keep my spices, of which I don't have many, and hot chocolate and stuff. Um, pots and pans go down there. That's the oven. This is the um, hob, which is basically like um, touch sensitive. Um, there's no gas in the apartment, so uh, everything is run by electricity. Um, in here, you've got bins for food. And here, I've not yet used it once, is the dishwasher. I don't think I will ever use it because <laughs> I don't have enough dishes. Um, so in here is the inbuilt fridge freezer, which is very bare because it is nearly the end of the month, so the food shop is due. Um, so I have, well, I have almond milk, orange juice, garlic, onions, 
baklava, <laughs> cheese and mint. This is a very sad sight, but don't worry. Food shopping soon come. And then in the freezer, I've got uh, frozen blueberries, broccoli, peas, and more broccoli. Yes, it is time to shop. Um, so over here, again, this unit is probably from Ikea, but came with the place. I've got all of my favourite books there, so The Secret, The Power. I've also got The Weight, Getting to I Do, and Oprah Room Freeze, what I know for sure. So um, those three books I haven't read yet, um, so looking forward to those. Uh, I've got some DV couple DVDs down here and some other books. Um, the Four Agreements, I'm yet to read as well as The Girl Before. I've read You Are a Badass, and that was really good. I've also read Gabrielle Union's We're Gonna Need More Wine, and that was really good as well. And then in here, I just keep printer paper and, like, sky kit and stuff. Um, a leaving card from my old workplace and a pomegranate room spray from Aldi. So down there's the bin, and then up here, you've got my office area. So I want to talk about this space in a bit more detail. So, um... The prints. The prints are basically um, what I use to make this feel a bit more like a separate area, like a nice little corner off the rest of the room. So the the prints are from Decenio. I opted to go with gold and black frames to kind of complement the really random splash of lime green that was in here. Um, so the furniture, most of the furniture you see came with the place so that chair uh, that sofa the cushions with it the table the rug the dining set um, and the side tables and they decided to like put this pop of lime green in which I didn't really get and I'll be honest it isn't really me but actually brings quite a lot of color to the space and I thought that gold would complement that quite well so I've gone with like gold and green and black and white and that will be like the theme of well, I guess the whole house, but also of this sort of living space. And um, so I already obviously had the Prada Marfa canvas, which I got from Etsy. And then, yeah, these kind of join it. So that one says fashion. This one says Coco, I don't do fashion, I am fashion. Sounds a little bit conceited. Um, but, you know, you you kind of got to big yourself up. But <laughs> this is a working space, so we have to inspire ourselves, don't we? Um, so, yeah, so then I thought some nice... Um, Greenery in that print would work really well, as well as some floral stuff. Um, so yeah, so those are the prints explained. Um, I don't have any discount codes for Decenio because I'm not working with them, but um, <clears throat> I'm sure if you go online and type in Decenio voucher codes, you'll find some. So this is my desk area. As you can see, I am just about to catch up on Love Is, which I'm loving. It's a new show. Um, I think it's the Oprah Winfrey Network pro um, produce it. Um, and it's like my favorite show at the moment. Um, anyway, I digress. So obviously you guys know this is my iMac. I believe this is the 21 inch version. So I edit all my videos on here and do all my work here, YouTube work and other stuff. Um, I just got this printer from HP. Um, it is the HP DeskJet 2632. So it prints, it scans, it copies, does all the good stuff. Um, the lamp I brought from my old place, it was um, again also just left behind by the owners of the first property we bought. This plant is from Amazon, uh, it's faux. And then this um, Hollywood Best Sister plaque, oh, sorry, Oscar statue trophy thing is from my sister when she went to LA. Um, I've got some books here, uh, some new editions as well. Girl Boss I've Read by Sophia Amoruso, the founder of Nasty Girl. How to Be an Overnight Success by Maria Hassett Stefanis. Um, she's the owner and founder of Rodial. Slay in Your Lane, which I went to the launch event for um, on Monday, which was really good. Um, these two girls are um, Black British authors, um, sort of born and raised, or raised at least, in the UK. And um, I think what they've done with this book and this whole movement is amazing. And then this is just a Vogue book, which I got from Amazon, um, which is really aesthetics only. <laughs> and then my pencil pop. Um, 
I have another book here which I'm using as a mouse mat at the moment and I feel really bad for that but I haven't read it yet it's called The Little Black Book by Otega Uwagba um, um, another author um, black British author black British female author I feel like I need to be inspired by like loads of female authors and business women in this area so that's kind of how they make an appearance and why they make an appearance. Um, got my business cards here um, from Moo. Um, so this just says uh, Star with Substance and it's got my details on the back. Um, my phone is here charging. Um, yes, yeah, so the chair, I don't remember where I got it from, but um, you kind of, I've seen it, I've seen it everywhere. And it was really expensive to get like the original model of it. And I don't know what the style is called, but yeah, if you just Google white office desk chair, um, you should be able to find it like that. Uh, scooching over to here. So this is the living area. So this, I the only way that I could make separate from the office area is to really um, focus in on like the home accessories. So the table and the rug came with the property. Um, but these bits are f well, mostly from Dunelm. So this um, candle holder... And candles from Dunelm. I don't think I've ever lit that candle. It's really just there, just to create a vibe. And it came with like a plastic um, casing around there, but I, it broke while I was moving, so that's a shame. And um, then you've got these faux flowers, which are also from Dunelm. Um, a candle from Aldi. This is pomegranate scented. And then my fashion books. I want to get a Tom Ford book to add to this stack. Um, but for now, I've just got the Vanity Fair and Chanel. And then this uh, this candle, I'm pretty sure it's from Dunelm. But again, also just a decorative piece, not for burning. Um, oh, I have Sky. Um, thought I mentioned that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, these items are all, all came with the properties. I don't know where they're from. So this armchair the sofa the cushions the side tables and the lamps that are on them so that standing lamp and that sort of side table lamp um however these pieces are mine so this porter magazine is mine this candle is from tk max um what's the scent for this one it's kind of like a very musky, masculine scent, which I quite like. And then this is the pomegranate reed diffuser from Aldi, which smells really nice. When it came yesterday, it was giving me a really weird smell, which I was not liking, but now it's kind of sorted itself out. Um, then this throw, though, I'm pretty sure is either from TK Maxx or Wilco a little while ago, so that's mine. Um, the rug is also mine. It was um, a gift from my mum. Um, and I think it goes quite nicely in this space. So this, so what I've done to separate this space from there is the use of the rug. So um, I kind of use, yeah, again, as I said, accessories and, you know, little trinkets to kind of break the spaces up. So this is the dining area. This is sort of where I sit and eat breakfast. Um, rarely dinner. Dinner I'll normally have over there on the sofa um, but definitely breakfast I'll have here so here we have this plant which is from Marks and Spencer home um, it's faux again but I just love how it looks on here and um, these uh, placemats are from the range and um, then there's oh this card game which is called um, oh, what is it called the name is on here no filter or something like that um yeah it's in here somewhere but basically it's got like got cards that ask like really um provocative uh sorry thought provoking questions and every time i've played it with people somebody's cried so <laughs> get involved um then this is my hillsong bible um uh which is basically like a a modern day translation um of the new testament bible um, I'm filming this on the first day of the Hillsong Conference, so I'm going to have to speed things up so I can get ready to go to that. Um, and then just a pedal bin, which came with the property, um, but yeah, has a nice little flip up there. So if we go out into the corridor, I'm not going to put the light on because it kind of throws the whole thing off and makes it a bit yellow. I'm not a fan. Um, but I will have to put the light on for here because this is storage. So this is kind of the main storage that I have in this place. Now, I'm not a huge hoarder, um, 
so this is enough for me but as the only storage unit in the place it's it would be tough if you have a lot of stuff <laughs> um well i should be a rapper <laughs> anyway um so this headboard was the one that originally came with the bed in the place so i got rid of it because i wanted my own um ironing board came with the place they it comes with a vacuum cleaner which i haven't used because i have my trusty henry down here although he's going to get replaced by a Dyson at some point. Um, this Bosch is a washer dryer. It's really good, although sometimes the dryer uh, has been known to rip clothes. So um, this place also came with bed sheets, um, which are here, which I don't use, but in the times that I've washed them, it's ripped them. So that's not good. Um, yeah, they also gave me this iron from Russell Hobbs. Um, so I've got my fabric softener. Oh my gosh, I went out and bought toilet paper and I already had some. I knew I had some. Why did I do that? Anyway, um, my washing up liquid tabs, um, which I need to replace. And a um, mop bucket, dustpan and brush. Um, and then all of these other paintings and stuff that you see here, again, came with the property, but um, I swapped them out with my own. So you'll see those as we walk around the house, some of which you've already seen. So yeah, you switch the light off from out here, and then you are in the corridor. So this, that's the main entrance door. You've kind of got a little peephole there, so you can see who's outside. Currently no one. Um, it's got a nice lock thingy on there which is makes me feel safe at night and then another lock here on the handle um have got some socket points here oh and this which i'm not gonna lie to you i've never really used which is basically the like um like the heating and air con system I, i've literally just kept it where it where it has been since i moved in um but the place is very um it's pretty warm so i don't think i'll ever have to change the temperature um so it keeps cool it keeps warm yeah it's it's very energy efficient um so yeah so up here i've got a canvas which you'll recognize from my old place um we've got a phone entry system so if you take the receiver off there um you can see who's at the door basically and normally my sister's face appears there because <laughs> she is a frequent visitor um so yeah video entry system very secure and um, yeah, it makes me feel good to be able to see who's trying to come into the yard. Um, I've got some shoes down here, just um, my everyday shoes that I might need to grab on my way out. Um, I was charging my camera battery earlier, but this is like my charging station. This is also my do my hair station, um, just because of that mirror there. That mirror came with the property. These, however, all came from the range, so the vases and the faux um, flower arrangements, all from the range. And then over here, um, this is a very new addition, um, is another print from Decenio, and it says, she designed a life she loved, which is one of my favourite quotes. I don't even know if it's a quote per se, or just something that I've seen in a lot of Instagram profiles for like motivation and stuff, um, but... I believe that I am in the process of designing a life that I love and therefore voila <laughs> so that's that and then this this so this um, I think this vase is from it's either from Dunelm or Wilco or the range it might actually be under here no it doesn't say <laughs> Um, but the flower arrangement, this purple one, is from Dunelm, and these are from Wilco. Um, and what I did on here is I used some marble contact paper to basically cover up cover up this. So this was left in, again, a lot of the stuff is inherited. Um, so this was left in the house that I first um, bought by the previous owners, and... I just thought it was quite handy. It came with a door down here, but actually it serves as a really nice like bookcase. So I've um, got some books there. I've got this candle here, which I love the smell of. It's from Matalan, but it, it's finished. Um, and then some of my top, top um, faves there. Uh, not all I've read, I'll be honest. I haven't read um, Anthony Robbins. Oh no, have I read Unlimited Power? I think I have read Unlimited Power. Um, 
awaken the giant within not sure um but yeah pretty much everything else on here i've read um and then in here is like sort of like diy draw so tape measures um seller tape spare plugs adapters um all that kind of stuff and then just some more books down there um then we are going to go into where i think the magic happens and um, where i transform myself the bathroom